Welcome to Cooking with Pina. Today I'm going to make pasta primavera. Primavera is an Italian word for a spring. And these are the vegetables I'm going to be using with the pasta. Onion, carrots, asparagus, zucchini, cucumbers, snow peas, and cherry tomatoes. The cherry tomatoes, I'm, there is a marinade. I made a marinade. And what you do with the marinade is olive oil, pressed garlic, um, salt and pepper, basil, and that's it. I keep this at room temperature for about four to five hours. Or if you want to make it the day before, you can um, prepare the day before, which will be much easier. Now I'm going to saute the, uh, the onions first. And I'm going to use about two and a half to three tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And in the meantime, I'm going to start boiling the water for the pasta. I'm going to wait till it softens a bit, and then I start adding the vegetables, which is going to be the first vegetable I'm going to add is the carrots. I really like these carrots. As you can see, they're multicolor, and uh, they're very sweet. They're delicious. I'm going to start adding. This is the vegetable that takes the most time. The others, the others are a lot quicker to cook. It is really important to um, to cook the pasta al dente, otherwise it'll be so soft that it does not. It's not enjoyable. <laughs> pasta primavera should look nice and fresh, fresh vegetables, because it's spring, springtime. The water is boiling. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add about a tablespoon, a table and a half spoon of salt. It's really important to put salt in the boiling water. And um, we just add the pasta. Give it a quick stir. And now I'm ready to add the next vegetable, which is the zucchini. So as the pasta is cooking, you keep doing this. You saute the vegetables so that hopefully both the pasta and the vegetable are done at the same time. At the end, once all the vegetables are sautéed, you can add some salt and fresh ground pepper. And if you like, you can also use some hot pepper flakes if you want a little bit of spice. Okay, I'm going to add the next vegetables, which is the um, asparagus. Again, do not let the vegetable overcook. As I am sautéing, I'm going to put some pasta water into the um, vegetables. The last ingredient is the snow peas. These will cook rather fast. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the vegetables. We will have a teaspoon. Not to put too much salt because there is salt in the pasta and also I have salt in the um, tomatoes uh, marinade. Pasta is not yet done. I'm going to put the pasta right into the vegetables. And stir. It 
it's important to keep the uh, the pasta hot so I have the burner on just keep tossing it so we get all the juices from the uh, vegetables and add the remaining pasta all the juices from the uh, vegetables coating the pasta so the next step is to mix the tomatoes in so I'm going to first add the pasta to this bowl and add the tomatoes a little at a time so just mix well okay and the cucumbers for a crunch and for the final step the parmigiano di giano I have about a cup and a half in here but you can use your own discretion you can use whatever how much you you, you, you like but it's part of this primavera very nice basil leaves is extra and this is the pasta primavera oh. it's absolutely delicious I love this pasta I just love it the cherry tomatoes are absolutely beautiful so you cannot skip that part you have to make the marinade it is absolutely necessary and it's very very good thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to cooking with pina arrivederci alla prossima volta